Okay, so if I mean if you're in the uh, if you can access like you know doing self inquiry and, and Muji and you're in the um, I mean I call it the the witnessing in the, the witnessing field, but it's not really a word. No, no labels can describe it. And you do the Course in Miracles, then. Um, I would say that, that, I mean, if you're already in the witnessing state, you don't need to do the Course in Miracles. I mean, if you're in the pure witnesser, then, uh, or in the flow state, you don't actually need to do the Course in Miracles, because you're at, you're in the non-dual state, you're in the flow state, so you're at, you're at a very high level of consciousness. So doing the Course in Miracles might, you know, uh, may not, may, can potentially make you more re-identified with the world. But the course, I mean, the Course in Miracles doesn't have that effect on me because for me the Course in Miracles are 365 lessons to be in the non-dual, the witnessing, or the flow state. So like, uh, if, like, let's say God did not, you know, like lesson 14, God did not create it so it's not real. Uh, if, you're in, if, you're in the, if you're in the witnessing state, you don't need to do it, but if there's any... But sometimes, if, even if there's something very subtle, you know, you're not quite 100% in the pure witnessing state, then, you know, like God did not create um, a sense of limitation. You know, it might be very subtle, you know, a very subtle sense of limitation, so it's not real. So it can be applied even on a very, very subtle level with whatever is very subtle. Or, you know, my, my, uh, my body is meaningless. You know, if there's a sense of body identification, or this, um, or a thought is meaningless, or even even my identification with my with my senses, or God did not create an attachment to the senses, and therefore it is not real. So th there can be even the course, the course can be used on very very subtle subtle uh, experiences as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be used, and. You don't, like some of the lessons in A Course in Miracles are very dualistic sounding. You know, like, uh, God is the love in which I forgive, you know, I forgive the weather. You know, God is the love in which I forgive my father. So, you know, you just have to be careful not to allow that to create a duality. You know, you just take it in the sense of it's releasing, releasing a me and a you releasing the idea of, a, of a me and you, and then it doesn't. But, you know, sometimes you just have to take it, like sometimes if you're in certain uh, advanced levels of consciousness or in witnessing states or in, non -dual, uh, or in a non-dual space, um, you know, intuitively you may not need to do something, like you may not need to do a canceling of belief or God did not create it or I pray for a miracle, so you just intuitively allow uh, that that uh, guidance to come through. 